Hi, um, thought I would do a quick morning vlog. I probably only have a few minutes. Paul and Poppy left for Starbucks a little while ago. It was about 20 minutes ago. They'll be back soon. Um, but anyway, um, Poppy's been staying up really late last few nights, so I probably would not be able to vlog tonight. Um, so this weekend was really intense, sort of. My sister stayed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday last night. Um, she doesn't usually stay that long, and um, she is extremely determined to get my house in tip-top shape for this oncoming reunion, and um, so the goals of this weekend were uh, to improve my home's um, toy and poppy things storage, so to get, to get um, better storage rather than our ugly plastic bins, and um, um, so that was something, and to get air conditioners for the house, um, for Poppy's room, which is going to be a guest room, which is where um, Carolyn and her girlfriend will sleep, and her girlfriend won't stay at our home unless we have an air conditioner, so that has to be provided. But I'm glad, because we've been doing okay without an AC this summer so far. There was like, there's been one night where I was like, Jesus Christ, I wish we had air conditioner. Um, but it's, it hasn't been a super hot summer, but this week it's supposed to be record highs, so I'm glad there's air conditioner. Paul's really not into it. Um, he kind of hates air conditioning, um, but I mean, we've had warm, very warm nights where I've had the fan positioned like on me, like in my face, and he, like, he and Poppy do fine with like not even a fan on pretty warm nights, so I, good for them. Um, the other, oh, and anyway, so, like, we went to Pier 1 yesterday, because there's a Pier 1 in Rocky Point, and my, my sister's like, they'll have, like, good baskets and things. I have actually, I've been wanting baskets, more baskets, because I feel like it's a relatively attractive way to, like, toss, toy, things, toss toys in, and um, I have, like, one overpriced one that I got at Whole Foods that is very attractive, and sturdy and, and can hold a lot of stuffed animals, but I haven't wanted to spend $30 on a basket again because I've been going to thrift stores and I'm not seeing anything that's like everything's pretty crappy that I've seen so far. Anyway, so my sister was like, why don't we just go get some baskets up here one? They'll have tons of baskets and you know, she's paying. So I was like, okay. So we went there and pretty quickly found a lot of baskets um, that were nice and I picked out a few. But then my sister was like, you know, I can't even, it's like a blur. We spent a long time there, and I came away, like, she was looking at these things that were, like, wire racks that could fit three square baskets in it, but, like, double. So, it's like, a, this wire structure that had six baskets that were, like, basket drawers. And she was really talking me hard into it, and I was, like, on the brink of accepting it, but I couldn't. There's, it was just a little too ugly for me. Um, I could see how it was a convenient, sensible idea, but I just didn't want this big thing to take up a lot of space in my home. Um, so I was kind of stressing and I was hungry. And then all of a sudden I saw this white dresser that had really um, uh, wide drawers. And I was like, oh my god, that would be great for art supplies and all of Poppy's art. Like, we store her art. Like, we have just a pile and, like, shoved in Paul's bookcase, like, in an empty case shelf, which looks like crap, all the art spilling out. And, and then things get damaged. And I was like, this would be great. And, like, in the living room. And I was like, it doesn't look that bedroomy. It just looks like, like, a white chest. And so I was like, this is the one, this is the one. And she was like, okay. But then it was like this ordeal to um, get it into our vehicle. We had Poppy with us in the car seat. And it was just a really hectic day. It was, I mean, a hectic experience. And, like, I had to go home and, um, and get and Carolyn. We took the, I don't even remember. It was like we took the car seat out so we could put the, the thing down. Then I had to take the chest home to Paul and then... And then have to put the car seat back and go back and get Poppy and then blah, blah, blah. And um, then we went to, uh, anyway, then we went, later on, we went to Home, um, Home Depot. 
to get, the goal was to get two air conditioners, one for the playroom and a built-in air conditioner in the playroom, and one for Poppy's room, and um, also get some outdoor lighting for this barbecue party that we're going to have, and to get um, a new screen door for our kitchen door. The screen door is busted, um, and it's kind of lame to not have a screen door in there. So, um, so we go, and um, by this point, Poppy, had, who had already spent a lot of time in Pier 1, and had eaten mostly just sugar, and like I hadn't paid that much attention to her food intake yesterday. Like I was really caught up in like Sister World, and I mean, Paul fed her, but like I realized when we were in Home Depot, I'm like, uh, she probably didn't like, she probably hasn't had a snack in hours, and she ate all the crap today, and she's been forced to go shopping for hours. She started being a little, like, not meltdown, like, crying tantrums, but, like, irritating. Like, in the shop, she would sit in the shopping cart and throw things out of the cart and then deny that she'd done it, and then I'd have to pick things up, and, like, it, it was really annoying. And it took a long time. And then Paul and my sister had this debate. My sister just wanted to get two air conditioners that were, like, 120 bucks each for the, those two rooms. But we already have, in the basement... When we first moved into the house, Carol Ann gave us this old air conditioner of hers, which I kind of resent. It's huge. It's dusty. She's not, she doesn't want it. Like, at the time, I was, she just brought it over without asking one day, and we were stuck with it. And it's just, it's, it weighs a thousand pounds. It's, it's old. And so, that thing is just like this, ugh, ears, blah, 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 I don't like it. And, um, um, what was I saying? Okay, so we're in the air conditioner section yesterday. Paul and Carol Ann start getting into it, where she's like about to just put these two ACs on the in the cart, and Paul's like, "Well, we have that one in the basement," and my sister's like, "Oh, well, that one's kind of old, and it'll be hard to install. Why did you give it to us in the first place?" But anyway, um, and Paul's like, "I didn't hear all the words spoken, but basically the result was." Paul wouldn't let her buy two air conditioners because we already have one in the basement. So we have to test run this old one first. So I think Paul is just being... I don't agree with Paul in this situation. Um, so now we have... We have to ins easily install the new modern one in Poppy's room because it's smaller. And then we're, and for the bigger room, we're going to try the bigger AC. It's going to take like two men to install it because it's so heavy. We're going to have to get Dave over. Um... It may or may not work well, and if it doesn't, then we have to go back to Home Depot and get another one. And it's just it's like annoying. I don't know. I can see Paul just being practical and thrifty, and that's not his money, um, and not wanting like tons of air conditioners in the house, like taking up space. I guess I would rather just like get rid of the old, gross, dusty one that weighs two thousand pounds. Anyway, I didn't really have a say in it. <clears throat> so then Paul goes and picks out um, a screen, we go to the screen door section and he was like all of these are really flimsy and crappy like he, they, he just thought they were just like pieces of shit like even the, mo the more expensive one wasn't really any better than the cheap one like just flimsy and like the frames were just the lightest, crappiest plastic so he was debating like what do we do like this is Home Depot, there's not really like where else am I going to get like this is just maybe this is all there is in this world for this type of door. So he picks one out, but he's like reluctant about it. And then we um, now we had taken Carol Ann's SUV, her Subaru, to the Home Depot because at home our Subaru was filled with the new um, dresser and stuff. We hadn't dealt with that yet. We hadn't taken it out yet. For reasons, anyway. So we get we get we buy our stuff. We go out to Carolyn's SUV, and we realize they can't get the screen door in the back because she has a factory installed dog gate separating the back seat from the trunk that we all forgot about. So it was like, what do we do? And so then, um, so so they decide. Paul decides to like get some twine from Home Depot and tie it to the roof, but he did, you know, he did a good job, he seemed to have done a good job, 
Um, and there were dangling strings inside the car that Carolyn and I held on just for extra security. We start driving, everything seems fine. Then we get out of Mount Sinai Patchogue Road, which is like a highway. And we're driving fast. And Carolyn are like, oh shit, like we're holding on these strings and suddenly it feels like they're getting really tight, like the screen door is sliding off the car as we're going 60 miles an hour. So I was like, shit. <laughs> pull over the side of the road, which that in itself is scary because there's cars whizzing by and Paul like he readjusts it as best he can and it's just like okay like hopefully this is better and that took a while like untying knots and retying them and uh, it took like 10 minutes maybe more of like you know so he redoes it and then we get on the road again and uh, by this point everyone's like super starving and um I want to get sushi because sushi is something that Poppy will eat. Like, she hasn't been eating very well lately. Like, she's only interested in sugar. It's really annoying. Um, I feel like she's just in this weird phase. And um, she just will, if she can't have the sugary thing she wants, she, she will eat nothing. So it's nerve-wracking. Um, anyway, so, but she loves sushi. I'm like, she needs some good protein. And she'll eat edamame and drink miso soup and... And it's usually a sure thing with her for that. So anyway, so we're driving. We're not going to drive home. We're going to drive to Wasabe. It's a part of Mr. Shea. They're home. And when we get to the Wasabe parking lot, the screen door is cracked and smashed and mangled looking. And um, this is just a little slice of what this weekend was like. Um, but I'm going to stop because they're home now. So have a good day.